It's Spidey Unboxing Time! It's finally September 7th, well, 8th by the time you guys are seeing this video, but the point is that Spider-Man on the PS4 is finally here, and one of the absolute coolest parts about it is the limited edition Spider-Man PS4 Pro. In this bundle, you are of course getting a copy of the game that comes with all the benefits of the Digital Deluxe Edition, but on top of that, you're getting this awesome, amazing red PS4 Pro with a match controller. And I gotta tell you, this system is just completely beautiful. I mean, it helps a little bit that my favorite color is red, so I might be a little biased here, but I am so happy to have a PS4 Pro, not only in this color, but one that just looks so nice. Now on the subject of the color really quick too, by the way, before I talk more in depth about what I think of the system, one little detail I do really appreciate is that on the box, when they talk about what design the system is, the color term, look, normally I'm really bothered by the fact that systems can't just be a color. It always has to be like, you know, it's not a blue system, it's cobalt blue, steel gray, whatever. Normally I find that annoying, but in this case, I actually think it's really thematically cool. This is called Amazing Red. And it's not just like a fun thematic name, but I think it's actually accurate to the system too. I think this is a really excellent shade of red that looks great on the system. You don't see a ton of red consoles these days. There's a heavy reliance on different grays, blacks, whites, steel variants. You don't see a lot of just bright colors. And I think it works really well here, you know? I think it's a great looking system. In fact, part of me when I first saw it and was thinking about it, Thematically, I kind of wish they did add a little blue to it just to give a little bit more of that Spider-Man feel, whether that's adding a blue section to the mid stack here or maybe adding blue lines to the side to kind of simulate the suit. But honestly, I think that's stuff that just makes it more thematically Spider-Man. As far as pure looks go, I think this really was the right way to go. And something else I think is really appropriate about the system is that when it comes to at least superheroes and gaming, Spider-Man really is one of the biggest ones. And to finally have a system that really celebrates that is awesome. Spider-Man has been showing up in games as far back as 1982, back on the Atari 2600, which back then the game was called, well, Spider-Man. And since that time, there have been numerous Spider-Man games that have been released. In fact, just totaling up all the games where he's the main character and the title is, you know, something Spider-Man, just guess how many that is. Go ahead, guess. Comment it. Just, I'll give you a second. Thirty-three. Thirty-three games that are simply called Spider-Man. That's not including downloadable mobile games, that's not including times where he's made major appearances like Marvel vs. Capcom or Marvel Ultimate Alliance, and not even counting all the times where a single Spider-Man game comes out, but it's actually three different games because they decided to do something different on a handheld or a lower power system. And while they all haven't been winners, I gotta say this game is definitely shaping up to be one of, if not the best Spider-Man game, and arguably one of the best superhero games made, just period. Because Look, obviously I haven't finished the game yet, but I've already been putting a bunch of time to it. I've been watching other people play it and I've been seeing just a whole bunch of media surrounding it. And my main takeaway right now, just the feeling that it gives you is, if you ever had a franchise that you really deeply love and you start thinking about things that you wanna see from it, whether that's movie adaptations or games or whatever, you start building up visions in your head of what it would be like, of what the feeling would be. And this is that game, you know? It's one of the things where you just jump into it and you feel like, yeah, this is what I wanted a Spider-Man game to be like. Whether it's how quickly you're web-slinging through the city or how you take down a bunch of bad guys and just pull off all these crazy moves, it's just, it just gives the right feeling. You know, like I've said many times before in unboxings like this, I'm always a big fan of less is more when it comes to limited edition design systems. And I think this really nails that idea. It's just two colors, the red and the white, and it's just the big Spider-Man symbol plastered right in the middle of the system. It's specific to the PS4 version because that's the version of the symbol that's on his chest. And at the same time, it gives anyone who sees that a clear idea, this is Spider-Man. They don't have to put the name on it. They don't have to put any kind of additional symbols or anything to get the point across. It's the one main symbol and it does the job perfectly. 
And this aesthetic works really great as well on the controller where there's not really any symbols or anything here. They, sometimes you'll see in special editions, they'll put like a symbol on the right handle or maybe they'll do something special with the touchpad. None of that's going on here. You know, honestly, this year has been really, really good for Sony as far as kind of upping the game a little bit with PlayStation special editions. I was a little hit and miss last year, but with the Days of Play PS4, the God of War PS4, and last week, the 500 million PS4, I think they've been doing really good on special edition systems this year. And and this is no exception. Honestly, if it weren't for the 500 million coming out last week, this would be my new favorite PS4 Pro. And it's very, very close, because I love the color red. I think the design here is just great. It's just, I'm such a sucker for that clear see-through blue they did on the 500 million. But this is really nice.